Hey folks, welcome back. We're here for you again and bringing the coolest vibes of NBA for you all. As the series continues, today we are here with an amazing player, John Conchar. Conchar is the first player in NCAA Division I history with at least 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, 500 assists and 200 steals. He is a versatile, competent player who has a chance to be a long-term backup to Morant and fits the mold of the type of player the new front office has fallen in love with. He can plug several holes on the roster and if he shows any promise, could get an opportunity sooner than many anticipate. Let's move forward with our video and have a look at the top 10 things you didn't know about John Conchar. So, let's begin. But before we proceed further, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do hit that subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any future NBA content. Number 10. The Birth With High School Vibes Born on March 22, 1996, John Conchar is an American professional basketball player for the Memphis Grizzlies of the National Basketball Association. On a two-way contract with the Memphis Hustle of the NBA G League, he played college basketball for the Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons. Conchar played basketball for West Chicago High School in West Chicago, Illinois. In his junior season, he averaged 19.7 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 3.4 assists and 2 steals, leading his team in most statistical categories as they finished with a 5-22 record. Conchar averaged 28.9 points, 14.1 rebounds, 4.1 assists, 3.2 steals and 2.5 blocks per game in his senior season, earning all area MVP honors. Number 9. College and Way to Profession on March 10, 2019, Conchar recorded 18 points, 10 rebounds and 10 assists in a 96-70 victory over South Dakota in the 2019 Summit League Tournament. It was the first triple-double in tournament history. As a senior for Purdue Fort Wayne, Conchar averaged 19.5 points, 8.6 rebounds and 5.4 assists and 2 steals per game, earning first-team All-Summit League honors for his fourth consecutive season. He compiled 2,065 career points and left as the program's all-time leading scorer. At the end of the season, Tom Henry, mayor of Fort Wayne, Indiana, proclaimed March 28th as John Conchar Day. After going undrafted in 2019 NBA Draft, Conchar signed a two-way contract with the Memphis Grizzlies. Conchar made his NBA debut on November 9, 2019 against the Dallas Mavericks. He suffered a calf strain on November 15 and missed several weeks. He missed a game against the Santa Cruz Warriors on January 13, 2020 with concussion protocol. Number 8. Fort Wayne Under Radar Star what Purdue Fort Wayne senior guard John Conchar does have a unique skill set, an unselfish nature and a unique feel for the game. Conchar's talents were on full display as he flirted with a triple-double in a 104-88 win over the Jackrabbits. He finished with 23 points on 6 of 9 shooting from the field, 9 of 11 from the free throw line and pulled down 8 rebounds and dished out 8 assists. When Conchar leaves Purdue Fort Wayne, his name will be all over the school's record book. He's increased his production each season on campus, culminating in a 15-point performance against Omaha in late January, making him the program's all-time leading scorer with 1,842 points and counting. Number 7. 3 and D Player Purdue Fort Wayne standout John Conchar is a skilled, versatile prospect. The 6 foot 5 combo guard projects as a 3 and D player in the NBA. But he also is a fantastic playmaker who produced 13.3 points per game out of the pick and roll last season, which ranked top 25 among D1 players. When including passes, he averaged 1.47 points per possession and assists overall on offense. Among all who had at least 650 opportunities, no player had a higher mark. Others in the top 10 include projected first-rounder Ja Morant as well as Ty Jerome. Number 6. Far more fluid. John Conchar has the sort of boxy frame that makes it just as easy to imagine him toiling as the most powerful guy on a construction site and spending his weekends blasting home runs in softball tournaments. 
but Conchar is far more fluid than he appears at first glance, and there is nothing on a basketball court that he doesn't do well. His passes are like magic tricks. One of his go-to moves is to take the ball at the left wing, dribble to the top of the three-point line, and throw a pass over the shoulder to a shooter, standing where he was without once looking backward to make sure that shooter is where he expects him to be. He can catch a pass at the top of the key and skip the ball over to a shooter in the far corner without ever taking his eye off the bucket. And he threads needles with cross-court passes from one corner of the half-court to the others. This player definitely got some special traits in him. Keep yourself tuned in as we discover five more amazing facts with you all. Hope you guys are enjoying the video and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, do it now in order to make sure that you don't miss out on any future NBA content from now on. Number 5. Above the Rim Play And Conchar's ability to play above the rim can be just as awe-inducing as his floor game. His dunks are some of the most highlight reel worthy moments in the program's history. That includes the vicious left-handed one he threw down on Indiana's Juwan Morgan and Thomas Bryant when the Mastodons knocked off the then number 3 Hoosiers November of 2016, the same month that IU team beat both Kansas and North Carolina. Conchar also made the steal that ended the game. He's not a lockdown defender, but he can defend any position on the floor, and his ability to anticipate makes him both a bullhawk and an exceptional rebounder. He's freakishly athletic, coach John Kaufman says. The game is so slow to him. Number 4 All Summit League Pick Concha is a three-time first-team All Summit League pick, and he's a lock to make the team again this year. He's a Purdue Fort Wayne's all-time leading scorer and rebounder, and as an across-the-board stat sheet stuffer, he is one of the most prolific college basketball players of the last 30 years. According to sportreference.com, he is the only player since 92-93 to amass at least 1,800 points, 1,000 rebounds, 400 assists and 200 steals. His career offensive rating of 130.99 is the highest sports reference has on record, going back to the 2009-10 season. As a senior, he's averaging 19 points, 8.7 rebounds and 5.1 assists per game for the Mastodons, who are 14-10 and 6-3 in the Summit League after a blowout win against South Dakota. Number 3 Dry-Witted Conchar The lack of attention suits the stoic, dry-witted Conchar just fine. The spotlight annoys him and he tries to avoid the most modest amount of press coverage he gets in the Fort Wayne market. When he broke the Purdue Fort Wayne career scoring record set by Frank Gaines in 2013 with two three throws late in a loss to Omaha on January 24, Conchar showed no reaction even as the crowd at Gates Athletic Center erupted. Knowing he wouldn't want a big deal made of the accomplishment, the only thing the athletic department did was post a graphic on the video board that included a picture of him wearing an expression that was as blank as the one he was displaying on the floor. Conchar has been misjudged and underestimated throughout his career, but it's never but it's never bothered him. Nothing really does. He's always had a philosophy to avoid any kind of thinking that creates stress. He stays away from social media, except when posting photos on the off-season occasions. Number 2 Game Coming Too Easily One problem Conchar did encounter was that the game came too easily for him. He spent hours on his craft away from practice developing muscle memory and instinct, but at practices and in games, he never looked as if he was expending much energy. Coaches in the suburbs west of Chicago took his quiet demeanor as a lack of interest and his graceful movement for laziness. It wasn't until his junior year at West Chicago High School that he found a coach who realized that wasn't the case. Conchar didn't make the varsity as a freshman, and he didn't always start as a sophomore, but had Bill Recchia been in charge, Conchar would have been a four-year starter. And number 1. Life After Basketball Conchar is already set up for life after basketball. He finished his bachelor's degree in information technology with a GPA around 3.5 and is working on a master's in organizational leadership. He would like to be involved in cybersecurity, but anything in the infotech field would suit him fine. He has designs on pro basketball, but seems to view that as more of a hope than a necessity and seems okay with the idea of going overseas. Kaufman, though, believes his star belongs in the NBA. He probably won't be taken in the two-round 60-pick draft, but a camp invite and a two-way contract don't appear to be out of the question. Conchar's reluctantly taken heed and he's averaging a career-high 18.9 points per game and is on pace to set career highs in field goals and free-throw attempts.
Hope you guys have enjoyed the video and thumbs up if you've liked it and do hit that subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any interesting videos from now on.